Good morning, Garfield. My name is Finn Frida Sweeney, and I'm joined today by my co-host, Tally Sabula. We are coming to you live from James A. Garfield Middle School this Tuesday, March 9th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We can expect a mild day with times of clouds and sun. The high temperature will reach 63 degrees. Wednesday's forecast is very similar. Let's take a look at news and information you can use. The first optional math tournament practice will be held after school until 3.30 on Thursday. The Math Madness Tournament will be held on March 25th. There will be awards and prizes. Student council members are welcome to come to Ms. Schaefer's room after school on Monday the 15th to work on our spring project. Check Google Classroom for more details. GMS supports healthy habits and asks that students drink only water in classrooms. Please leave caffeinated drinks at home. Remember that cell phones and smartwatches are not to be out or in use during the school day. Please put them away. On this day in history, in 1776, Adam Smith published the influential economics book, The Wealth of Nations. In 1864, Ulysses S. Grant was appointed commander of the Union Army during the Civil War. In 1961, the Soviet flight Sputnik 9 carried and returned from orbit with a dog, frogs, and a guinea pig. In 2011, Space Shuttle Discovery made its final landing after 39 flights. Today we feature Grace Murray Hopper. At a very young age, Grace Murray Hopper showed an interest in engineering. She was born on December 9, 1906 in New York City. After graduating, graduating with her bachelor's degree from Vassar College, Hopper went to Yale University where she earned her master's and PhD in mathematics. Afterwards, she began teaching at Vassar College. In 1943, Hopper resigned her position at Vassar to join the Navy Waves, woman accepted for voluntary emergency services. In 1944, she was commissioned as a lieutenant junior grade and assigned to the Bureau of Ordnance Computation Project at Harvard University. After the end of the war, Hopper became a research fellow on the Harvard faculty and in 1949 joined the eckert Mauchly Co Corporation, continuing her pioneering work on computer technology. Hopper was involved in the creation of UNIVAC, the first all-electronic digital computer. She invented the first computer compiler, a program that translates written instructions into codes that computers read directly. This work led her to co-develop the COBOL, one of the earliest standardized computer languages. COBOL enabled computers to respond to words in addition to numbers. Hopper also lectured widely on computers, giving up to 300 lectures per year. She predicted that computers would one day be small enough to fit on a desk and people who were not professional programmers would use them in their everyday life. Today for lunch, our fantastic lunch ladies are serving mozzarella sticks with marinara. Remember to stop by the commons in the morning for breakfast. Every student receives two free meals a day this year. We will eat lunch in the high school gym and the commons. If you're in Miss Lovelace, Miss Schaefer, or Mr. Gilbert's classes during third period, you will eat in the commons. Everyone else will eat in the high school gym. Our JAG core value this month is loyalty. We model this value by committing and dedicating ourselves to maintaining and improving the quality of our schools. Stay safe, Garfield. Because we value your health and want to continue in-person schooling, we all need to focus on masking up, backing up, and washing up. Whether you're on campus or not, your face mask must be worn over your nose and mouth. Do not wear a mask below your nose. Remember to keep your distance from others in classrooms, the hall, and at lunch. Washing your hands is also vital to good health. Make sure you are washing and sanitizing your hands often. Dream Big GMS. Our quote this week comes from Christopher Robin, who tells Winnie the Pooh, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. This is Hallie. And Finn, signing off. Have a great day, GMS.